hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl lizzie please subscribe like share and watch my previous videos if you're just tuning in for the first time thank you all so much so here is the look we're gonna be doing today this is one of the most trending gillies on instagram right now and on youtube i hope you do enjoy this video if you do please don't fail to subscribe and share i love you all so much so the first thing i did was to bend the edges of my ghillie and then I made about 5 pleats before placing this ghillie on my head. While placing this ghillie on your head, you have to make sure that your pleats are really neat so that the ghillie comes out really beautiful and nice. So the rule for this particular ghillie is 50-50. And then the next step I took was to make some pleats with one hand of my ghillie. You have to make your pleats like it's going to be um, a round, like infinity pleats. That's how you have to make it. That's what it has to look like. So you just have to make these pleats and you have to make sure that they are neat and they are nicely done. So it all depends on how big your ghillie is. If your ghillie is very big, you can start um, after making about maybe 10 pleats or 8 pleats. You can start making your fan. But for me right now, this is where I'm going to start making my fan. The fan is those standing pleats that give you um, really nice stylish ghillie. So I'm just going to start making my fan. While making your fan, you have to make sure that you're using, you're making use of your both hands. One hand has to be picking the pleats, while the other hand has to be holding and pinning the pleats down, so that the whole thing does not unravel. So you have to be careful while doing this, so that your ghillie really comes out nice. This particular ghillie I'm using is an Ashoke um, ghillie. Most of the time while using this particular ghillie, if your ghillie is not too firm, it, ten it tends to fall easily. So you just have to make sure that you keep pinning and pinning until you're comfortable with what you have on until it's beautiful. So the next step I took was to twist the end part of my ghillie and then take it towards the back and pin it. If your ghillie keeps falling, just make sure that you raise it up and pin it so that it stands um, properly on your head so the next step I took was to take the other 50 parts of my ghillie and make some pleats before placing this ghillie on my head so I'm just gonna do the same thing I did um, for the other part of my ghillie which was the first part of my ghillie I'm just gonna repeat the same step Guys, I have so many lovely videos on how to make ghillie. If you haven't watched any of them at all, I tell you guys, you're missing. Please do that. Search for you um search for Lizzie's Touch on YouTube, and I'm also going to link some of my videos. I do hope that you watch them, and if they help you in any way, don't fail to thumbs me up. Don't fail to subscribe and share. I love it when you share. I love it when you subscribe. It makes me feel like I'm really working and you're loving what I'm doing also. So you have to make your fan towards the end of your ghillie. And then make sure that you twist it properly. I'm twisting my ghillie forward because I want it to stand up. It, 
I want it to um, come forward. <laughs> I don't know if you really get it, but I want it to come forward. If you twist your gele backwards, your gele tends to fall behind. So I'm twisting it forward because I want my gele to stand up straight and in front. So push your gele behind and that's the magic guys. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. Please thumbs me up and subscribe. I love you all. Bye.